We know that the accident happened at around about nine o'clock local time. Uh, a train derailed on the edge of Santiago de Compostela. That's the regional capital of Galicia, right up in the north of Spain. Very popular with tourists, very popular with Spanish tourists at this time of year. Of course, the beginning of the summer vacation. Uh, if you look at the pictures, I mean, a lot of damage there, considerable damage as several coaches of the train derailed. Uh, one eyewitness talking about hearing a big explosion. Uh, clearly a lot of damage, a lot of destruction. Uh, the latest death toll, as you say, coming from the head of the regional government in that part of Spain, uh, saying at least 35 people have died. And Tom, what are local media saying about what could possibly have caused this devastating crash, as we can see there from the pictures? Well, there isn't much information coming out at this early stage about the possible causes of the accident. What we, the reports seem to suggest uh, an explosion. There's plenty of smoke in those pictures. Uh, eyewitness accounts seem to back that version up. Um, Spain generally has a relatively good uh, record in terms of rail safety. This is a country which has invested huge amounts of money in its rail network. Uh, of course, it has a high-speed train, the AVE. This was actually an Alvia, so if you like in Spanish terms, it's a medium-speed train, but it does use the same track from Madrid here, the capital, up to Santiago de Compostela, up in the, the regional capital of Galicia. It does use the same track as the Ave. Um, but it's interesting, I think, to note, really, that actually uh, tomorrow is a regional holiday in Galicia. Uh, so quite possible that a lot of people on board that train were on their way for the beginning of their summer vacation.